But you could see when he got behind the 20 and the 78, he had two cars in front of him. That took all the air off his car. And when it did, around that thing went. That's a sign for me that these cars are not handling great. And you see here, it's a great opportunity to see some of the safety, safety initiatives in this car. When that 19 gets sideways, you see the distance between the car and the asphalt, it starts to lift. As that car lifts, the roof flap opens, the hood flap opens, the car settles back down. That's, a, that's huge. You know, 15, 20 years ago, that car might fly. We might have a car rolling. It enables air to get into the cockpit area so that an air can get under the car so that it doesn't tip over? At, well, I mean, when so the idea is direction. very simple. The car makes downforce going forward, but when the car gets sideways, it makes lift, which is the same thing that makes an airplane fly. Bad for staying on the ground. When the roof flaps open, it slows the air down around the top of the car, which basically reverses the effects of the lift, pushes the car back to the racetrack. The hood flaps open to let the air that's packing in that wheel opening out so it can't pick up on the front of the race car. All of those things sound complicated, but it's really simple. 3,400-pound stock car going sideways at 200 miles an hour wants to get airborne. Those things keep the car on the ground. 